Hello everybody, this is Dave from Dave's Acrylic Pouring. Um, today I'm going to step outside of my comfort zone. Uh, normally I like to do like Dutch pours and swipes and uh, uh, tree ring pours, uh, dirty pours, things like that. Those are some of my go-to's if you will. Um, but today I'm going to try to uh, attempt the kaleidoscope that is the colander pour. Um, I picked up a little mini colander. This is called a berry colander. And uh, I think I'm going to try that today. So that's what we are doing. Uh, today we are using Master's Touch paint. Um, we have Master's Touch Violet, Master's Touch Gray Purple, Master's Touch Light Magenta, Master's Touch Rouge, and finally Master's Touch Phalo Cyanide Blue. Okay, those are our colors tilt you down here and then we'll get our base coat on and start getting on it. our bubbles maybe uh oh looks like my butane's getting a little low and have to fix that never refilled a uh, butane torch before um, <clears throat> we are I'm going to show you right now how to do that you shake the can up like this and there's going to be a little nozzle right there or a little uh, place to put the nozzle right there in the bottom and you take the can upside down and you stick it in there not over your paint but then you push down on the bottle and up on the torch to refill. Be very careful, butane is extremely cold. If it comes out and gets on your hands, it will not feel too well. There we go. That's better. All right. I'm excited. This is definitely going to be a little bit different for me, so let's try this here. All right, so I'm going to get my cup. I'm going to tilt you up just a little bit here so we can see a little bit better. A little bit more. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to get my cup. I'm going to start off with my white. Put a little bit of white in the bottom. Hold on one second. 
here. Got a little bit of a globule in there. I want to get that out. I do not want that going in my paint. Oh, my painting. Okay. So we're going to start off with a little bit of white. Then we're going to pour our colors right in here on top. I'm going to mix them up. Go to different colors or uh, different hues. And just layer them up. Come back to a little bit more white. Wait a minute, no, I don't want to do that. I want to go for a darker color this time. Again. Come back to my purple. Now my rouge. I want the colors to contrast a little bit. interesting I'm sure I've seen them done before but I've never attempted one myself so like I said I'm stepping out of my comfort zone specific order as you can tell I'm just going with what I feel at the time just grabbing whatever I'm grabbing <clears throat> staker off the bottom as you can tell and you can see there's plenty of small holes in there so we're going to put this right here in the center we're going to see how this is going to turn out now I'm going to pour straight into the middle of this colander just like I would for a tree ring pour Definitely different for sure. Try to 
get a little more white in there. Let that sit for just a minute. Again, like I said, I did not put any silicone in this at all. All right. We're going to stretch this. Pull to one side and then back to the middle. To one side and back to the middle. To the corner. Ooh, and back to the middle. side we get these corners all the sides are covered <clears throat> oh, look at that boy a little rinse off my hands and we'll come in for a closer look here These colors are brilliant. All right, we're coming in. Probably should have used some Payne's gray in there, I think. That would have popped. But yeah, this, this looks pretty cool. Missed a little spot right there. All right. Pretty wild. So that's definitely a a, a different uh, approach. <laughs> I like it though. I think it looks pretty good. I think I'm going to have to uh, work on that and see if I can't uh, perfect that a little bit better. But I, I think that overall, uh, for my first attempt, I think uh, I'm going to say I pretty much smashed this one. So I'm um, going to try it again in the near future. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, pour on. All right, you guys have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.